Hello. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at some um, arcade button configurations for the uh, Arcade Geeks um, 8000 package. Now, um, you won't need this if you've got the, the one with the Pandora's box, which is that one. Just re raise that up a bit. You won't need this because all the buttons are configured kind of perfectly, to be honest. But they're not so perfect when it comes to this one because... Uh, well, when I got this, it was, there were a couple of problems. Um, <laughs> the, the first one being that left was mapped to right and right was mapped to left. Now, that's really easy to sort out. I'm going to show you how to do that, obviously. Um, but it did mean that I messed up the button configuration because I didn't know what order you're supposed to press the buttons in. You'll you'll see why. Now, normally the convention is you call the buttons A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, I'm not going to do that in this video uh, for reasons that will become clear. What I'm going to do, I'm call, going to call them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, if you get this straight from uh, Arcade Geeks, you won't be able to play Street Fighter 2. Uh, it'll just be a nightmare. Um, you need to configure the buttons. And to figure that out takes a bit of time, so I'm going to show you how to do it. But first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a better configuration for four-button games. So to do that, go press your Start button. Which is just there, start and select there, right? So configure input. Are you sure you want to configure? Yep. Right, so D pad up, up, down, left, right. Start, select. Now, this is where the fun begins. When it asks you for button A, press 3. B, 2. X, 4. Y, 1. Left shoulder, 5. Right shoulder, 6. And then you can just keep going all the way to the bottom. Hold to skip. All the way until it says OK. Now, one thing to note about this configuration, which I'll show you in a second, is that... Um, Button three is now your launch button. So I'm just going to show you a, a three or four button game. Uh, I'm going to put Shinobi on just to show you what I'm doing. Right, so that is your launch button now. You cannot, with this configuration, um, Go into the options and change your emulator and all that. So, mind what you're doing. Uh, but, you know, if you've got this far, you know what you're doing anyway. So, this is now uh, a classic Shinobi setup. Button one, magic. Button two is your fire button. And three is jump. Um, obviously, to taste. Some people would rather have the magic there. But, you know, you can figure it out if you've got this configuration. Now, this is good for a lot of things, including the Neo Geo games. And also, as, a, as an aside, um, it's perfect for Mega Drive games because that is A, that is B, that is C, sorted, you're fine. The only issue with this configuration is it's not very good for when you get onto the um, Neo Geo library. It's not very good for the King of Fighters games. So I'm going to show you a possible um, configuration for this. Um, it's what I would call sort of ideal. Um, configure input. So do the same. Up, down, left, right, start, select. When it asks you for A, it's 3 again. B, 1. X, 4. Y, 2, uh, left, 
left shoulder and right, it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using them. That fun comes later. Talk amongst yourselves for a bit. And again, your launch button is going to be button three. So, launch King Fighters 2002. Now, I know this isn't ideal for some people, uh, and it's also not arcade um, perfect in terms of the, the setup, but uh, I like it. So, um, I'll show you. I'll show you what I've done anyway, and you can figure out if that's uh, going to be the thing for you. Right. So now, um, okay. So button one is your uh, your fast punch. Button two is your hard punch. Button C, so button three, is your uh, kick there, and then your hard kick on button D. It's just a little bit easier <laughs> and you won't be able to it, it's just messy if you do it um in the configuration i'll show you right so that's sorted as i said at the start you can't play street fighter 2 straight from the go it, it it'll just it'll just destroy your brain um so what am I going to do, Street Fighter, just bring up any of them. By the way, this com configuration works for uh, all of them. So, if you want to play a Street Fighter 2 game, or Street Fighter 3, I think, uh, works for this, you need a six-button configuration. Uh, and it takes a bit of figuring out this. So, again, up, down, left, right, start, select. Okay, so when it asks you for A, in this particular case, you press five b four uh x two um y one left shoulder three and right shoulder six you'll see all this is uh, set up for um super nintendo so <laughs> i haven't tested this actually the this might actually work um for um the Super Nintendo version of the Street Fighter game. I wouldn't have thought so, though, to be honest, but that's a, that's a fight for another day. Um, now, one thing to know about this configuration is that um, button 5 is now your launch button. Lovely. So now, give it a bit of sound. The thing is, you wouldn't want to use this configuration for three button games or two button games or whatever. It's just a bit awkward. But I think I've shown now, it's pretty easy. If you've got a, a piece of paper, write it down. That's what I've done. Um, and uh, you, you'll be able to just... just do any configuration you like and get everything working the way you want it to. Just remember that with these launch buttons changed, you can't go into the menus. So it's probably best you do all that kind of jazz first before you start messing about with this kind of stuff. So, yep, everything's where it should be. Yes. Anyway, so uh, if you buy an Arcade Geeks um, arcade machine, or a couple of them, um, that's uh, a really good um, way of setting up your buttons for different games, and I hope you found it uh, useful. Ta-da!